Hi, um, I'm the editor. Before we get this video started, I just say, if you enjoy what you see in these videos and on this channel, give it a like and subscribe. And, if you can, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Now, let's get on with this video. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I'm back again, and I know I just vented and everything, and I don't know where my son's going to put this part of the video, and I don't know if he's going to put it in the middle or if he's going to put it in the end, but I forgot to tell you guys about one thing, and I really, really want to add it. So I got these kits because Terry over at Yarnjoy, she suggested them, and um, she, she got the... The Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer kit from Amazon. So I went on Amazon and I had to look. So I did. And that's where I made the Mickey Mouse from. I got the Star Wars kit. Where you can make these characters. And then these characters. Put it back here. So, I got the Star Wars one because Benjamin loves Star Wars. So, I'm going to make him these. I'm going to make them the whole collection. And then I got... The boxes got thrown away to these ones. So, I'm just going to show you the book. So, I got the Marvel collection. I got... You can make... You can make Spider-Man. You can make... Captain America. The Hulk. My favorite, Iron Man. Black Widow. Hawkeye. And I lost my spot. My fingers are cold. Thor. Ant-Man. The Falcon. Hulk, Star Lord, and the last one is I think Groot. Can make Groot. So that's the second one that. I got, um, put that one right there. The third one I got was the Disney one. Like I said, that's where Mickey Mouse came from. These come out a lot smaller than I thought. I made it with worsted weight yarn and I made it with a G hook and I don't understand why it's coming out so small. Wanted them to come out a little bit bigger, but then the stuffing shows. If you notice, the stuffing show, where's the camera? The stuffing is showing on Mickey Mouse because the holes are too big. So, I might have to use a smaller hook, but I don't want them to come out so much smaller. So, um, let's see. You can make Mickey. I already showed you Mickey. You can make Minnie. You can make Donald. Who's my husband? That's my husband, Donald Duck. Daisy Duck. Goofy. Phew. 
Pluto. Chip and Dale. And Dumbo. Bambi. My favorite movie of all time is Lady and the Tramp. So, Lady, look at that. I'm going to make her. Pinocchio. Jiminy Cricket. That's who you can make with that. The kits, they come with the yarn. They come with this little bit of yarn for one character. And that's not even enough for a character. And they come with a hook. They come with a G-hook. Which, if it's a G-hook, and... My hands are cold. And if it's a G-hook, and I use the G-hook, I don't understand why the holes are so big. So, I don't... And then the last one I got is for my daughter-in-law. And it's really cool. I got... Harry Potter. Harry Potter is pretty cool. And with Harry Potter, oh, each side has one. You can make this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. And that's, that's who you can make. So, those are my kits, and that's why I wanted to come back on, because I wanted to really show you guys my kits. Um, I'm working on my secret project right now, so I'm not working on the kits right now, but I really want to make each character in each kit. Uh, Mickey Mouse took me... Oh, sorry. Mickey Mouse took me um, about five hours to do. Not even... Not even um, five hours, basically. But, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning, my fellow yarn people. How are you? Um, today is March 22nd. It's 9.25 a.m. Most of my kids are still asleep, but some of them aren't asleep. Um, Ben's up and my husband is up, but I told them I was recording so they can't come in here. I'm coming to you from my yarn room craft room, playroom, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's still a mess in here. I still haven't really organized it in here. Um, I have a few things I want to talk about today. Uh, I'm really sorry about not um, coming to you every week. It's just been hectic. Like, life has been hectic. And then I have the kids and everything. And obviously, everybody knows about the quarantine and of us being stuck in the house and and now I have bipolar and now with us being stuck in the house it just it, I'm starting to get depressed because of being stuck in the house unfortunately I am a CNA and I have to go to work I work 11 to 7 11 p to 7 a.m. and when I when I go to work and then I come home, I go to work, I come home, I go to work, I come home. I am a person that is usually out all day. I usually go out for walks, I go to the gym, I go to my friend's house, I go to stores, just to walk the stores. I don't even shop that much. I just go. And I'm usually out and I just can't be out no more. So this is a big change for me. Um... I really hope this ends soon. And I know some people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but it is just a virus. Um, it, it's a virus just like the flu. And it's, it's coming from a healthcare professional, it's just a virus. 
But I'm just going to get off the subject because I don't want to get into a big to-do about it. And I don't want to get into a big discussion about it. And I'm sorry if you don't like what I have to say. But anyways. So um, I have a few finished projects. And I have a few whips. And then I have upcoming projects. And, and then I have a few things to discuss and like life things and stuff like that and it might be a pretty long video but it might not be so if you want to stick around stick around if you don't then i'll see you later um okay <coughs> oh excuse me so the first thing i wanted to discuss with you is my finished projects one of my finished projects is let me get him because he's super, super cute. Sorry. He is a St. Patrick's Day gnome. St. Patrick's Day gnome. He is really, really cute. I'll bring him back so you can see the whole thing. Um... He wasn't, he didn't take long to make. He took a day to make. Uh, his hat comes off and he's got a little dome head and he, that big, like little, 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 little feet, See? like little baby feet. My second finished object is, now this one was my own creation. I kind of made up the pattern because I couldn't find one online. So I kind of like, this is an Easter gnome. I kind of Mickey Mouse the other pattern and just made up my own. And wait a minute, his feet keep going the opposite way. And he's an Easter gnome. And his ears keep going out. See, he's got little feet too. But he's bigger. If you look them side by side, I used a G hook for this one and an F hook for this one. So if you look, they're really different sizes. There. I plan on making more gnomes. I want to make one for each holiday. That's my goal, is to make one for each holiday. My next finished object is... Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse looks really, really creepy. Like, really, really creepy. But, he's my first Mickey that I've ever made. And, so. Let me know in the comments what you think of him. Because, he looks really, really creepy. Um. So, that's all I got for finished objects. What I got for works in progress, whips, is I got still the purple afghan that I'm working on the corner to corner. I was supposed to be done with it back in February, but then she changed her mind and she wants it for Mother's Day. So I have until May to finish it, so I have a long time to finish it. And then I have, it's in my bag here, because I take my bag to work. So project in progress is... A dragonfly afghan. And that is supposed to be done by next week. I'm trying. I have not. I am not really great. Sorry, I'm out of camera. I am not really great at. At um. Getting blankets done. Because I don't like blankets. But everybody seems to ask me for blankets. And I don't understand why. Because. I, I, you give me a stuffed animal, I'll have it done in five hours, but you give me a blanket and I take my sweet butt, butt time. I ain't going to say the other word. <coughs> Excuse me. I have allergies. Don't think I have anything else. I have allergies. And, um, so, but I can't stand blankets. I think they take too long. I have ADHD and my attention span really sucks. So, to work on a blanket, I really get bored with it. And so, um, 
but I will finish up these blankets. And I think after these blankets, I think I'm done with blankets. I think I'm just going to tell people, nah, I'm not going to make no more. But I also get paid a lot of money for blankets. So that's kind of like the motivation there. So I have my list here of things I'm talking about. Um, so um, four weeks ago, I started keto diet. For those of you who don't know, keto diet is mostly meat, mostly protein, no carbs, no sugar. Well, I get 17 grams of carbs and then no sugar. Um, I started it. I don't see the difference in my weight, but everybody else is. I am down 26 pounds and I can't wait until I'm down further because I, I'm not going to tell you what my goal is. I'm not going to tell you what my weight is. I'm not going to tell you all that. But I will tell you that my diet is going well. And I will update you on my next video how my diet is going. But I can't wait until I'm down even more. Now this morning, I, um, I learned how to make omelets. One of the things on keto diet is eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Before I started keto, I wouldn't eat eggs. I hated eggs. I hated them. But they they have eggs in everything in keto. So I started... So this morning, due to my friend, my best friend, um, she told me how to make an omelet. And I succeeded. I made omelets for the family this morning. I was, I was excited. I was excited that I made an omelet. Um, so, that been and over with. So, I have a few upcoming projects. One of them, one of them is a secret project. I can't tell you. It's the biggest project I've ever worked on. It is not a blanket. It is, it is a big project though. It is a secret only maybe two people know what it is and I'm not telling nobody what it is it, I'll give you a hint it's gray it's blue it's purple it's but you can't tell by that um but I can't wait to show you guys because I like I said it is the biggest project I've ever worked on and I had to block part of it last night because it wouldn't stop curling so I couldn't work on it last night. So I had to block it. And now I'm going to work on it today. And see how far I get on it today. Because I know I can get pretty far on it. Like I said, we're in quarantine. So I have lots of time on my hands. But I also stopped doing that. And then I start cleaning. And then I start doing this. And I start doing that. And then I want to work on the craft room today. So there's a lot I want to do. I just don't know where I want to start. Um, the craft room needs to be cleaned a little bit. Back is itchy. Um, there's just a lot to do in here. I have more baskets to hang up for the, the yarn. If you see over there, I have caked most of my yarn. And I have spaces where I have more bas need more baskets. So, sorry if I made you dizzy. Um, I have, um, yeah, I touch my face. Sorry, but I touch my face all day long. My face gets itchy because of my allergies. Um, so I have to finish up caking most of my yarn. And that's going to be a problem because I have so much yarn and I just don't feel like sitting there. I found an electric wa yarn winder on online, but it's like $80 and I don't have $80 right now. That just isn't in our budget right now. So, but I really want one maybe later on. Um, so I signed up for two craft fairs, one on April 2nd, one on May 8th. And because of this quarantine, my one on April 2nd is probably canceled. They have not contacted me. They have not told me I was getting my money back or anything. But the thing is, is last year I had such anxiety that I would not sign up for any craft fairs. 
and this year I got the guts to sign up for craft fairs and now they're being canceled. This is not fair. Totally not fair. Um, I really don't know what to sell at a craft fair in the springtime because I don't have a lot. I, my specialty is hats and nobody's buying hats in the spring, but I have a lot of stuffed animals, a lot of amigurumi, so I can just sell those, but most of mine are not like Disney characters or anything like that, so it's not copyrighted. They're just simple, 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 like snowman, bears, elephants, stuff like that, gnomes. I want to make a smurf, though. I do want to make a smurf. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I I want to make a smurf. I think I'm going to make a smurf. My dad gave me the idea. My dad said if you could make a gnome, you could make a smurf. So, I don't know why. That's just weird. So, there's also another thing I want to make, but it's also for a birthday present, so I can't show it on here. Um, like I said, I will show a lot of the stuff after after um, everything is done. This video is going to be edited by my 16-year-old, Ben, because he's great at editing videos, and I like the way he edits his videos. So he's going to do it for me. And hang on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I had to edit the video. Um, he has to edit the video, but that was him at the door. So now he has to edit that out. So <laughs> that he said he will edit it out. So, um, he will do it. So he's, he's great at doing stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I tried to do this video on the PC. And if anybody knows any good software to do video editing on Windows, let me know in the comments because I only have the iPad and I have iMovie to edit, but I want to try to do it on the PC because we have a computer now and the computer is bigger screen and everything and everything. And so it would be easier than me set, setting my iPad up. My iPad is leaning against the computer screen right now. Speaking of iPad, I have the new iPad 12.9 inch Pro, which I bought for myself, which was a gift for me and for, for me from me, which I, I really enjoyed it. I have the Apple Pen. I am enjoying every minute of it. Um, I can write on my iPad. I can write on everything. I can edit documents. I can scan documents. I can do everything. So, I know my nose is itchy. It never gets itchy until I make a video. Never. I, I don't understand it. Um, so, here in Massachusetts, they're talking about canceling school until the end of the year. Well... This year, my daughter is graduating from high school. If they cancel school till the end of the year, then she is not getting a graduation. What they're going to do is just mail her, her her diploma. That's not fair because when my son graduated a few years ago, my oldest son, he didn't, he handed me his diploma because they handed it to him and because he was in an alternative school, and he handed me his diploma and said, here, I graduated. So I didn't get to see him walk, to, walk across that stage. I didn't get to see him in a cap and gown. I didn't get to see anything. So I'm excited to see my daughter in a cap and gown. I'm excited to see graduation. I'm excited to see all that. And now it's going to be taken away from her. And I don't think that's fair. The kids are excited if they take away school, but they don't understand what it means to me. I, I don't I don't think it's fair. Um, she already paid for her cap and gown and everything. So if she gets it and they do cancel school, I'm just going to take her to the park, which we have a local park that has a rose garden. I'm just going to take her there. I'm going to have her put her cap and gown on and I'm going to take pictures of her. That's all I can do. Um, 
Lately, my back's been hurting me. Like, I think I pulled it at work, but I'm not sure. Um, I do turn people when they're in bed. Obviously, if you know what a CNA is, you know what we do. I turn people in bed. I lift people. I, it's really a back-breaking job. And I don't know why my back's been hurting me, but it just has. But I could, it could be because I have an old bed. And I've had my bed over 10 years. Um, longer than 10 years. And I have a California king-size bed. But the mattress is still in perfect condition. It just, I just think it's getting worn down. Um... It's a pillow top mattress and I think it's just getting worn down and I think that, that um, I really need to figure something out. It's either my bed or my job and I can't get rid of my job. So we were just joking around, um, my husband and Ben and I, and I said, I said to my husband, I said, either your PlayStation 4 or me and He's, he said, he said, well, I have to think you or the PlayStation 4, you or the PlayStation 4. I said, if you have to think about it, that's ridiculous. He said, well, well, what about me or your yarn? I said, that's a no brainer. I'll just take my yarn. And he got all upset <laughs> and he knows I don't mean it, but you know, I had to say yarn because I, I've been with him 23 years. If I don't say yarn, if I don't joke around with him, I mean, our relationship would be boring. Just like with the kids. Um, the kids are 23, 18, 16, and 13. And we have so many good days where we just joke around the entire time. I mean, uh, even though there's so much going on in the world today... We still keep a good head on our shoulders. We still keep a good sense of humor. We, we're we trying so hard to keep everything happy. And it's... I don't turn on the news. I will not watch the news. We don't have... We don't have regular TV anyways. And I'm not ashamed to say it. We have internet and we watch internet TV. I watch Hulu, Netflix, stuff like that. I will not watch the news. Because I think... I think the news, politics, the president, everything. I think it's all bull. And I think and I think they lie to you and I think they just and make you scared. I just I just think and besides, I have real bad anxiety. So if I watch it, I'm just going to get scared. And I don't want to get scared. I just don't want to. Um um uh, like the kids, they joke around every day. They, they're keeping a good sense of humor through this whole thing. Um, I took them out the other day. Yes, I took them out of the house during a quarantine, but we had to go to the grocery store and we had to get something to eat. So whatever, whoever's mad, whatever. But you know what? They can't sit in the house 24 hours a day. I had to get them out, get them some air because they were driving me nuts. And then they drove me nuts in the store. So either way, I was screwed, so, um, it's really cold here, so when it gets nicer out, even if we're on quarantine, I'm just gonna take them for a walk to the park or something, we'll stay away from people, we'll stay like 50 feet away from people, whatever they suggest, but, it just, just, we're gonna just stay away, we're just gonna do what we have to do, we wash our hands, we practice good hygiene, but we were doing that before this happened. If people did that before this happened, maybe they, we could cut down on this. Just like the toilet paper shortage. Like, why? What's the point of that? What's the point? I don't understand if people weren't washing their hands before this happened, but that's gross if you weren't. Because me, I I work in healthcare. Obviously, I just said it a hundred times. I work in healthcare and I wash my hands a hundred times a day. My hands are cleaner than anybody's hands. Um, but, and I'm constantly telling the kids to go wash their hands. But, I don't know. People just don't understand. So, you won't get sick. You won't. 
if you practice good hygiene and you stay away from other people and but that's like people who are out there wearing gloves if you're out there wearing gloves and you're touching everything and you're touching everything and then you go and touch your face that's the same thing as not wearing gloves I don't know I think I'm done venting for now um I I think I'm done venting because I probably pissed somebody off. So, um, but anyways, I want to work on my craft room today. I think I want to change my bedroom around today. Um, I have a very, very small bedroom, so there's only like one way I can turn it, change it around, but I think I'm going to change it around today or tomorrow. And I don't know when, um, I think I'm going to hang my shelves in the craft room and clean up some of this stuff the kids have been in here so a lot of my stuff is like moved around because I put the computer in here so they've just been in here and that's about it um so I guess I'll let you guys go for now I'm gonna try to post more videos but I can't guarantee that I can't guarantee anything because life's not a guarantee life's too short so keep laughing, keep having fun, and enjoy your life. Like my oldest son, my oldest son goes out every single day, even though we're in quarantine. He just drives around and takes pictures of his truck. And I am so jealous of his life sometimes because he just does anything and just has fun. You just have to have fun in life laugh have fun in life stop being so serious so anyways i'll talk to you guys later now Bye. that you've seen this whole video and watched it to the very end thank you i appreciate it it took a lot of time to edit this now if you like it though consider subscribing it really helps out a lot